Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on integrating rate limiting within your Django applications. So for those that are wondering what is a rate limit? So a rate limit is a forced limitation that can be set up to block users from abusing a website or from making a particular number of requests in a given set of time. So a typical example, let me show you. So I have a simple application here, very easy. So I basically have a basic application with an app here and I have one template here, index.html, very simple. And I have my views.py file that's rendering that view. And I have a simple URL that is linking to that. So my server is running here and I can head onto my application. And as you can see here, it's a simple template. It just says this is the home page. Now let's say I wanted to introduce rate limiting to this particular page here. So a very helpful package is known as Django rate limit, which I think is a fantastic package where you can go ahead and implement rate limiting. Now you can either do this by setting up a caching uh, backend such as Redis or anything of the sort, or what you can also do is you can also set this up based on a user or based on an IP address, etc. So I'm just going to show you a simple way in which you can implement it. Now, of course, there's many ways to do it. So as we can see here, if I were to zoom in, okay, we can enforce rate limits via the rate limit decorator that is provided by this package. So essentially, as you can see here, we can limit, okay, a particular view to a certain number of requests. So in this case here, in this example, we're limiting the view to 10 requests, as you can see here, for a given user or client IP. So what we would need to do is we would need to, first of all, install this package within our given application. So I'm going to copy that and within my virtual environment, so I'll stop the server. I just want to say pip install Django dash rate limit. Okay, there we go. So the package is on our system. Then the next thing that we want to do is based on the docs, we want to enforce rate limits. Now, of course, there's many ways to do it. Of course, if you check the docs, you can read about how you can go ahead and set it up by utilizing a cache. I will be sure to include this documentation in the description below for the video. But to keep it simple and to give you a great idea of how you can implement rate limits, you can go ahead and go ahead and add in this a decorator so this Django rate limit de decorator and you can head on to your views.py file okay and I'm just going to add it to the top and I have one view here so my index.html page which is right here okay I want to implement that this rate limit on it and I'm going to use this decorator here and I'm going to add it here and this rate limit is going to focus on the key which is either going to be a user or based on the IP address and the rate limit is going to be 10 forward slash M. So we'll be able to make 10 requests before we won't be able to access that web page anymore. So essentially speaking, you'll have, you could say 10 read requests as a user to access that page. Um, you can also change the number. So let's keep it, um, let's say 10, let's leave it on the default. And we can go to our website. So this rate limit is enforced on the following view. So that is my index.html page here. And I'm going to rerun my server. So remember we have 10 read requests available. So let's say I'm on the website and I'm making read requests. And let's say um, I'm passing, I'm trying to bypass the Django rate limit. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and there we go forbidden i'm no longer able to access that web page it now says for forbidden so now if i try to refresh i'm no longer able to access this website because it has been in fact rate limited so as you can see here i have an error here so the main error is forbidden permission denied and that is directly because i have passed the uh, allowed amount of reads that i'm able to utilize to access this application so a very helpful package to utilize Django rate limit to implement rate limiting. Now, this is the simplified way to get started up in a quick way and to understand the whole concept of rate limiting. Of course, there's a lot more to it in terms of the caching. So here you can see the configuration that you can set up for your cache. And if I were to zoom in for those of you that want to go further, 
You can see a full list of all the configuration options that are available. You can also go ahead and set the cache setup accordingly here. So we can set up the cache for rate limiting and set up a limit within that cache. It's also additional things that you can set up in terms of reverse proxies and setting up client IP addresses. So a little bit more advanced into that area. And if we go back, we can see a bit more information in terms of how um, we, of course, got started and how we can go ahead and implement the caching. So, of course, there's more information provided here on creating and using a compatible cache and adding all of everything into place. But anyway, guys, that's it. So just a bit of a short tutorial that I wanted to go through on rate limiting, since I think it's quite an interesting topic to look over. It is very similar in some ways to brute force attacks in a certain light to a degree. OK, however, this is a little bit more specific in lights and it is more focused to, you could say, preventing a certain number of read requests um, on your pages. And of course, there's other things that you can also add in for this use case. But anyway, guys, that's it. And as always, thank you for the support.